In this video, we're going to demonstrate two on-ground methods for estimating tree canopy cover. The location shown in the Google Earth image is in Kensington in Perth, Western Australia. Over the Google Earth image, we've drawn a wagon wheel shape with seven spokes. Each spoke on the wheel represents a transect. A transect is a line that we walk along and take measurements, observations and estimates to help us determine the amount of tree canopy cover. The first demonstration will be along the red transect that travels down the image through the grove of trees. The method for this will be counting and measuring steps. The second demonstration will be along the other red transect that goes out to the right through the car park. For this one, we will be using a tape measure. Before we start measuring the transects, we have to work out the length of each pace, each step. To do this, we place a mark on the ground, in this case a rock, take 10 steps and place a rock at the other end. Then we measure the distance between the two rocks, the length of 10 steps, using a tape measure. It turns out that our tape measure was only five metres long, so we've indicated the five metre mark on the ground by using a stick and then moved the tape measure to measure the remaining distance from the stick to the rock. These measurements then get recorded in the notebook. So we have five metres plus 3.9 metres gives 8.9 metres. Divide that by the 10 steps and one step is therefore 0.89 metres in length. We orient ourselves at the middle of the wagon wheel and make sure that we know where each of the transects is located. We're going to measure this transect down to those green boxes in the distance by counting steps. Another transect here we won't measure and then we will measure this transect through the car park by using the tape measure. We'll walk along each transect and record the amount of sun versus the amount of tree canopy. We need to be clear here uh, what we mean by sun versus canopy. It may be interpreted as no canopy versus canopy. Here we have a time-lapse movie showing shade from a tree starting at about 10 a.m. and ending at about 5 p.m. Clearly the shadow is moving constantly throughout the day, changing size and shape and position. So from this perspective, we need to stand under a tree and look directly up. If we can see the branches canopy, then we record this as canopy. If we can see clear sky, then we are not in the canopy. In this example, we're calling it sun. We begin measuring the first transect, pacing out carefully, look out for tripping hazards. Our helper can point out rocks and sticks and snakes and so on. We keep walking until we reach the beginning of the first tree canopy. In this case, we've taken 22 steps before we reached the canopy. Record that as our sun steps. We agree that we're at the start of the canopy, look directly up and we're underneath the edge of the canopy. Next, we measure the canopy width, walking carefully again, looking up until we reach the other side of the canopy. That looks like about seven steps. If there are two or more trees touching or the canopies are touching, we would maybe walk under two or three trees. In this example, the canopy stops on the other side of the tree and we've measured that as seven steps wide. We then continue the process, counting steps between canopies and under canopies and recording those for the full length of the transect. In this case, we carry on through all the trees down to those green boxes in the distance. We finish up with a set of measurements showing sun versus canopy. We now measure the second transect through the car park using a tape measure. Place a mark on the ground at the beginning of the wagon wheel. One person holds the start of the tape measure. The other walks out to the extent, in this case, five metres. We're going to have to keep on redoing this process. So one person places their foot at the five metre mark. The second person walks up, places toe to toe on the ground. We record that with the tally 
and then we extend the tape measure from the mark again and repeat the process. It's good to pick uh, an object in the distance that we know we're walking in a straight line towards. In this case, we have a, a building in the distance. We help each other by looking along that direction and just adjusting the path so that we continue to go straight. And we just repeat taking measurements of five metres, walking up toe to toe, Sometimes it's not that easy, there are obstacles, but we do the best we can. We continue the process, remembering to tally every time we measure another five metres. We continue walking and measuring in lots of five metres in this example. You need to remember that for every five metres you record in the tally. So far, we have seven lots of five metres in our transect. And all of these are not under the canopy. We continue walking until we reach the next canopy. Now in this example, we haven't walked five metres. So we have to measure the actual distance and record that, in this case, 2.9 metres. We then measure the canopy from one side to the other. Again, this is less than five metres, so we record the width of the canopy and record that as the canopy width. We then continue taking measurements from the canopy through the sun or through the non-canopy. In this example, there's a, a hedge in the way, so we do the best we can. Place the book on the spot, then place the tape measure on that spot tally the five metre length and then carry on measuring, making sure that we keep it in line with the path, looking at the building in the distance, marking five metres with your foot on the ground and then walking up to that point and just repeat the process from here on, looking for canopies and making sure we're travelling in a relatively straight line, recording lots of five metres and recording specific distances of each canopy. As we continue along the transect, we collect tally data and distance measurements for sun and canopy regions. And by the end, we'll have a full set that can be used to calculate the distances under canopies and the distances between canopies.